Dan and Maui Preview 6, hot off the press, so let's hear what the team has been doing with it and I'll walk you through all the new stuff. So just to set expectations, there's not going to be a lot of code in this video, but this is going to be an update on .NET MAUI Preview 6. I've got here the blog post that David Ortnow um, has written. I, at the time of recording, it's released yesterday for me. Um, so this has all the bits that is uh, new in .NET 6 Preview 6 and specifically to .NET MAUI, of course. So the first thing that kind of stands out is the workload installation. Now, if, you've, if you know how to install Visual Studio, then you know we are now talking about workloads. So if you're installing Visual Studio, then you have like the workload for cloud or for desktop development. And there is going to be also, of course, like the, the mobile development or whatever they're going to call it. Um, but right now you have to do it through the CLI because Visual Studio 2022, um, you can do all of this with Visual Studio 2022 preview, which is pretty cool, um, is still catching up because that is preview bits as well. Totally separate team. So they're working independently. Um, and, you know, they, they have to connect these dots. Um, but for now, you can do it through the CLI. And with these workloads, we now have three flavors. So we have MAUI, which will get you all the things for both MAUI mobile. So that's iOS, Android, um, all the other things. Um, and we have MAUI desktop for UWP and macOS. But you can also, if you think like, hey, I want to use .NET MAUI, but I only want to use desktop or I only want to use mobile, um, then you can um, install those workloads separately as well. Right now, we have to do it through the CLI. But of course, that will be nicely integrated into the Visual Studio installer so you can easily um, install or uninstall a workload if that's what you want. So what we want to check if like, I think this is also kind of newish, maybe not, maybe I just didn't know about it. We have the .NET SDK check and I actually have it running here in my command window because when you're running this, it takes a little bit of time to go through all the SDK versions but because it also checks to see if there is new updates for the SDKs that you have installed because you know, with the new .NET and .NET Core and all the .NET versions, um, you can install them side by side, right? So I've got a lot of .NET versions here side by side, as you can see, and it will also tell you like, hey, is it out of support? Is there a new um, update available? So that is pretty cool. Also .NET runtime, same thing. Um, but this command, whenever you run this, so you can see it here at the top, um, .NET SDK check, maybe I can um, zoom this in for you a little bit. And then you can see it, it will go over all these versions and you can see if you have like .NET 6, Preview 6 installed up to date, just installed this yesterday. So there you have it. Um, now, another thing that you can do is then .NET workload check. Um, no, .NET workload list, maybe it's list. I think that's it, workload list, there we go. Um, and you can see all the workloads that are installed. Now I've got MAUI, uh, Microsoft Android SDK full, Microsoft iOS SDK full, and all the other things right here. So that is kind of the workloads that I just talked about that are installed for, um, I guess the current .NET version that you are running here. Um, I think the naming for the at least the Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, Mac OS ones, those are going to change a little bit. Um, but for Maui, you can see that it's on here. So with this, you can see if everything is properly installed. Now, this is also noted on the blog post right here, uh, .NET workload list. You can see kind of the same list here on David's machine as well. Oh, and you can install Maui now with .NET workload install Maui. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, so here a little note, what about the Maui check.net tool? Well, the Maui check is I've got another video on that. So go check that out. If you don't know what that is, I highly doubt it if you're interested in this kind of development, but um, just to be sure it's down in the video description, or it should pop up on your screen right now. Um, but that will still be maintained for now, at least because the Maui check tool is a little bit more than this .NET installer stuff. It will also check your Xcode version, your open JDK version, see if you have any emulators installed that you need. Basically, all the prerequisites that you need for .NET MAUI. Um, so definitely, I actually run the MAUI check to get this machine updated for the newest .NET MAUI version. Um, it's said to me like, hey, you need to update the MAUI check tool first. It gives you the command to do that, update, run the MAUI check, install all the things, and it just works. So 
that is still supported as well. Um, so, you know, you can use either of both, whichever one you want. But let's dive into like the new .NET MAUI capabilities. I'm sure I've showed this one before. There is a status report on the .NET MAUI repository, um, which is a page that has all the controls and all the properties of those controls. Um, so here you can see the pages, content page, flyout page is still um, under development, navigation page, tab page. Um, Activity indicated a button, and you can see just scrolling over this, I won't go over it in detail, but you can see there's a lot, lot, lot of green here now because this is updated for every property and whatnot. So if this is all green, that means that everything is basically implemented. So there's a couple of things um, that is still being worked on, but most of the things are actually here. And what are a couple of the highlights that they are implemented for preview six? Um, so this is this is kind of funny, right? This is kind of a boring demo anyway, because they're just re-implementing all the stuff that was already in Xamarin Forms, but now with better performance, um, better um, suitable for the future because you know of the new architecture and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you're gonna see all the same functionality that uh, was in Xamarin Forms already, right? But anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, so here we have the gesture. So the gesture recognizers are now implemented as well. Um, we got here number of taps require two. So you need to double tap and then it's going to execute this command. So if we run this little image right here, then you can see it double clicks this, this little tile and it comes back up. It doesn't really do anything other than show you a little animation and refreshing the data, although the data is not really in there. But this is the Weather 21 app. I will link the repository down in the video description as well so you can find it yourself this is the kind of sample app that david has put together to show all the new features for um like you know for dotnet maui and all the stuff that is coming out um, so and of course what we're seeing here is not just this tab gesture but also the animations that were implemented in um dotnet maui preview 5 so that's cool clipping is another one of those things um, so here is what it's all about this little uh, lovely image of david's head right here um, i think with one of his children if you look really closely but this image you now was just a square as you expect from a regular image but now with this clipping you can say hey I want to make this a round image um, so here you have the code for that you can just say image dot clip uh, geometry radius X Y center and you get this nice um, rounded image right here. So that is now implemented as well, should work on all the platforms. You can see if you look um, real closely, if you have this good eye, that this is running on macOS, right? So he's doing these samples on macOS right here. Um, so you can see that this is a first class citizen. All the features are now also implemented on macOS. Uh, native alerts, one of those things that again is already good and well in uh, Xamarin Forms, but now we also have the support in .NET MAUI. Um, so I think this API is pretty much the same. Display alert, um, we have the pop-up, simple input forms, action sheets. Um, so this one is running on um, iOS. Um, as you can see, this is an iPhone. And if we do the little animation here, I think he's clicking here down at the bottom on the support and you can see that this action sheet is coming up um, just the way that you were um, used to and then it shows a little dialogue to um, give you that little alert with the option that you've chosen so that is back in there ready for you to use so you're one step closer to converting your exam forms app back uh, over to dotnet maui apps also some development um, in single project and windows um, Actually, there's one thing that I really want to touch upon, uh, but I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, the NuGet package, this is an important one. The NuGet package is replaced with the .NET MAUI workload. So now you can just add this use MAUI true inside of your CS proj, and then it will automatically use MAUI because it's now integrated in this .NET 6 um, um, framework, right? So we don't need separate NuGets anymore. You just say, hey, I want to use MAUI, yes, no, clung check mark and dotnet maui is used in your project so that is pretty cool single project solutions now nest individual platforms within the platforms folder for tidy organization so we still have this win ui project but this is going to be the single project win ui is going to go up in this um, one project as well but we would have here folders for ios android all the platforms basically that you were um, um, go to support in your little project right here now they've moved those into the platforms folder um, and i think you know what a proposal is right now is to give that a little nice icon um, and also icons for like the platforms in there so it's really easy from the UI to add something platform specific from um, that node in your project 
Um, and this is actually the important thing that I wanted to touch upon. Updated the Windows App SDK, formerly known as Project Reunion, um, to use the latest Win uh, Visual Studio 2022 compatible extensions from the marketplace. Now, I had trouble finding that particular um, extension for Visual Studio 2022, because if you go and find it, it will bring you to the Visual Studio 2019. But if you have the right link, you can definitely get it. So um, I'll put this link down in the video description. Um, so here we have a single project MSIX packaging tools for Visual Studio 2022. So it needs a little bit of searching, but it's definitely there. Um, again, it only has 15 installs. See, so I'm one of the 15 persons um, um, at right now that, that was able to find it. Um, if you install that, um, um, then you can run the WinUI project from Visual Studio 2022 um, for .NET MAUI. If you don't install this, it will say the, the, the message that you might have seen before with like, doesn't know how to run the debug profile for this project or something like that. Um, so that is something that I wanted to touch upon really quickly. Um, so it's good to know if you want to get started with this. Now, another thing that's going on is that the templates are not yet showing up in Visual Studio 2022. I think I already might have mentioned that. Um, different team, so didn't really make the cut. So if you want to do something um, right now, then you have to go into the command line and just say .NET new MAUI. Um, you can give your project a name with the minus N um, switch right here. Um, and it will create a template, which you can then definitely open within Visual Studio 2022. Um, so, you know, you can just use it from there. It's just the template that um, is not in there. So also here, a little note about Visual Studio for Mac 2022, um, then you want to use the CLI as well um, as we await the debut of Visual Studio for Mac 2022. So again, there is a lot of stuff happening at the same time with previews, getting it in line for November. Um, but I think, you know, they can pull it off. It will all come together. Um, but right now, you know, it, it might feel um, um, a little bit wonky at times with all the preview bits that are going on. Now, the last kind of important bit right here down at the bottom is if you're wanting to use like the iOS and the macOS bits, you're going to have to use Xcode 13 beta one. Um, now that is kind of like, you know, might not be ideal because the, all the .NET stuff can be installed side by side. Xcode 13 beta, I think you can install it also side by side by with your regular Xcode, but this is kind of going into maybe your um, um, daily development machine. If you're running Xcode right now, which is pretty stable and you're dependent on pushing out new versions of your iOS and macOS apps, then maybe, I don't know if this is the right choice for you, unless you really know what you're doing or how to um, revert back to that older version. So if you want to try all this goodness on Mac OS and iOS, be aware that you need the Xcode 30 beta, which is, by the way, something that the MAUI check will definitely point out to you that you need it. So that is what you need to know to get all the things running here. And lastly, here at the end, very important feedback is welcome. So go over to the uh, github.com slash .NET slash MAUI repository to report all your issues or provide other input on what you think the team should focus on or what is important to you. Um, and for a look what's coming in future releases, visit our product roadmaps where we go into that. Um, then here you can see, this is on the wiki on that same repository that I just mentioned. Um, you can see preview six, all the things that we have here. Um, so alerts, content view, deep link, Linking, device gestures, native views, um, shell. Um, ooh, is there shell? Oh, styling and modals. I think shell was started in the previous preview, preview five. Um, but so there's there's more um, um, development there as well and triggers. So there's a lot more going on here. Um, and for preview six, which is then um, expected August 2021, we have app lifecycle events, application properties, borders, corners, frame, um, all this exciting stuff, which is kind of like the last bits that we should um, expect to get parity with Xamarin for right now and that is kind of where we're at with this Don and Maui preview six. Now like I already mentioned at the beginning I'm not going to go over to the code and running this actual thing to be honest it's not that exciting with which I'm not saying that Don and Maui is not exciting and this new preview is not exciting but it will be the same XAML that you um, uh, are used to from Xamarin forums and the same code and the same result only faster better all the things. Um, so, you know, you just have to find out for yourself, basically. 
Um, and that's kind of what the power is, right? It, this, that should give you confidence for like the transition from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI that everything is basically the same. Everything um, um, is the same We're typing the XAML, everything shows up the same, um, only it now also works on macOS and, and, and UWP, all the new bits. So that is pretty exciting. Um, and even some, some more stuff on there. So stay tuned on this channel for, I'm definitely digging into like all the new .NET MAUI bits and planning new content for the new handler structure um, or all the other things maybe um convert a little um, Xamarin Forms application or Xamarin Forms library to see what that is all about. So you can um, learn together with me and see what that uh, all entails. Um, if there's something that you want to see um, for that, please let me know down in the comments what you want to see specifically. And I can see if I can dig into that and maybe provide you with a little bit of content about that. For the rest, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Please click that like button, which is really important to me because then we can spread the love to even more people through the YouTube algorithm of awesomeness. Um, other than that, please click that little subscribe button. Check if you're already subscribed. Ding that little bell to be notified of new content automatically. And I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.